Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is an arrow problem, arrow problem number three. I really should possibly look at re-looking re at how I do the names of the problems, because this is going to get unwieldy really quick, but we'll see how it goes. So this is arrow problem three, um, and the rules on this one, of course, the, the digits that are placed on the, the shaft of the arrow is what go, the sum of those is what goes in the arrow circle. So um, that's all you've got for this one. You need to place the digits where there are X's. Um, feel free, uh, there's a link to the problem below. Feel free to pause the video and I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so this is very similar to the first ever problem in the series. Um, so what we have is in row three, um, these digits um, uh, all see each other and the sum of those digits have to go into these circles. So what is the minimum we can put into these? Well, they are one, two, three, you can't use a four. So one, two, three, five, and six. One, two, three, five, and six, if you add them together, sum to, uh, now I've forgotten it. One, two, three is six, five and six is a seven, so it's 17. Five and six is 11, one, two, three is six, 11 plus six is 17. That's the way I do it in my head if I do it correctly in my head. So 17, and the only way you can do 17 in Sudoku digits is with eight and nine. But we can also look at what is the minimum that these digits can be. These can't contain a two or a four, so the minimum is one, three, five. One, three, five must be no, um, sums to nine, so that must be the nine, that must be the eight, and that is the solution to the problem. So there's a couple of different things going on there, nothing too hard today, um, but a, another trick that you sometimes see in Arrow Sudoku and well worth re revisiting as well as looking at in a slightly different way. Hope you enjoyed today's problem, and as always, good luck with your solving. 